Hey everyone, how's it going? Remember these from about a week ago? I did a review on them. They're the CMP100 slash V100s. Here's 11 of them. The 12th one is sitting over here on the test bench. Today we're going to go build with it. With this V1 X12 Octominer. Let me get the cover open and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I got the top open, and another distinguishing factor to show this is V1, it may be an X12, but there's only four fans, and it's only as high as a modern-day Octominer X8. It's short. It's very short. Uh, also comes with a bar that goes across to keep your cars from falling out. Uh, PCSP, which is the people I bought it from, gave 12 screws. They didn't give 24. They were skimpy. They only want one screw per GPU. Okay, whatever. Um... Hard drive, yeah, that's going bye-bye real quick, because those blank drives, no-name drives, I don't trust them. They die really quick. I'm surprised that one's still going. I buy these for like 5 or $10 off of eBay. The uh, Intel SSDs, this is an 80 gigabyte. These will never die. They will be perfectly good forever. Comes with all the cables, and the reason why this thing is so short, all the PCIe slots that are on the expander board, look at them. They're only two slot these two that are on the main motherboard itself a little dark sorry are three slots so you got two three slots and everything else is two slots so here you're only going to fit uh the cmp 100s the mi 50s all the passively cooled cards would fit perfectly in here let me flash hive os on that drive and let me throw the 12 gpus in here and we'll see what it looks like and after a half an hour later, fully assembled. As you can see, it is really tight inside there. There's only a few millimeters, except for when you get to your first two slots here, because we have an extra slot available. So, works out perfectly fine. The other thing is, remember, these GPUs have two A-pin PCIe dongles on the back of them. This only has enough wires and outputs for one. So only one is plugged into each card, which is safe and fine for what we're using it for, this is going to be a dedicated Dynex rig, and each card, as we tested, only pulls about 111 watts total between the PCIe X16 slot and the PCIe 8-pin power. So, well within the 150 watt tolerance of these wires. Comes with the included bar as well, and three 750 watt power supplies, which is going to be more than enough to run this unit. Also got the newish Intel SSD flash ready to go for Octo 5. I think we're ready to put the cover on and try to find a place for it out in the shed. Okay, so it definitely took a little finagling. I had to put the Epic Miners on top of it just so I could fit it in here because the whole bottom is filled up. I guess if I really want to, I can move this on over here, get a 4U instead of a 2U, and then I can rest it here. It would actually fit. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but for right now, we're going to leave it right where it is. So, it's all wired up. It's all got Ethernet. It's just not turned on. So, if we can get through the reflection here, let's turn it on. There we go. Fans just kicked on. We can see individual wattages. The fan rattled for a second, but it seems to be okay. I might be changing a fan in the near future. What do you expect for use? It was $229 shipped to me. You can't really complain. So let's let this boot up and go downstairs and check it out on Hive OS. So here we can see Octo 5 on Hive OS, and there's our 12 Tesla V100 slash CMP. 100-210, whatever you want to call them. There they are. Now, even with the fans, the case fans running at 95%, that one 100%, this is a very hot day. It is about 96 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. During the summertime, I need to ramp them down. So if I look at the flight sheet, from our original testing, we were running a core clock of 1305 and also a memory offset of 300. Well, that's going to pull too much wattage and they're going to overheat. 
You can see most of these are running in the 60s. There's actually one here, it's 58C. Maybe that's the one I actually randomly repasted in between making this video. I don't know. There's a 59. There's also this one, 71. This card actually does need a repaste for Sovereign because Wow. Um, there was a few days discrepancy between me putting it into the shed and now videoing this part right here. On a normal day when it's in the upper 80s, Fahrenheit outside this car will usually run about 60 or 61 C with the fans fully ramped up uh, Today it's hitting 70 71 and we're only getting 6.4 kilo hash Versus the full speed 9.2 kilo hash that we get if we ramped it all the way back up so with these cards and even in this case There's going to be cooling issues with this card during the summer in winter time. I'm sure this thing will run all the way crazy pedal to the metal just go ahead and mine that but even for summer forcing the air through those cards is going to be a bit of an issue and also in between recording the original part out in the shed and now i've also upgraded this from the pentium that was in it i think i got for like 30 30 dollars off of amazon, not amazon ebay a i5 6600 t cpu which is uh Four core four threads instead of two core two threads much better for just the unit itself i always like upgrading them up to something a little bit better uh there's my intel 80 gig and i also have 16 gigs of ram now instead of only four gigs of ram i like doing that to the octo miners it gives it a little bit more stability that's basically all i got going on for this build it's going to be running in a sort of limp mode for summer Maybe I'll revisit it come fall once the uh, outdoor, outdoor temperatures actually come down. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.